Hi, I'm Chris from Windows, and hey. Because this is Air Windows Verb 6s. But you might not get quite what this implies or means. So as you can see, Verb 6s is, is something where you can take a sound and put reverb on it, like this. And that's going to make a very deep reverb noise. The thing about this is that it's a new design for householder matrices. I've been using a 5x5 five five householder matrix for pretty much everything up to this point. This is the first time you get to play with a 6x6. Six six. So how does that work? Well, normal householder matrices are uh, typically 4x4. Four four. I've seen people using arrays of like four 4x4 four four matrices in a sort of giant grid. And that gets you 256 delay outputs from what's only 16 individual delays. They combine with each other in an interesting way, which I will show you momentarily. Um, the 5x5s five use 25 delays, but that gets you 3,125 outputs. And that's what you've heard in pretty much everything up to this point from K Cathedral on is I've been working with that. However, 36 delays gets you a 6x6 matrix. A 6x6 matrix is like 40,000 reverb delays before regeneration, mind you. And considering that you can make a decent sounding reverb with only um, the 256 outputs from a 4x4 matrix, as long as you feed them back into each other. What you get when you're doing the 6x6 matrix, well, I'll just show you. Here is my modern Tron clip. And it's this. There's a lot of reverb density in here. So what's making this sound? This. Tiny little plug-in right there. And it's all wet. And there are no controls to it. Because this is really to serve a different purpose. See, verb sixes will give you a calibrated output for a six by six reverb impulse. It's going to give you the uh, six by six matrix if you tell it to. But it is also doing a four by four matrix at the same time. And there's a reason for that. Because a couple of weeks ago, I did this. This is my Into the Matrix plugin. Here's how I come up with all of these matrix values. Like you can see all these numbers in a big grid. And if we run a four by four matrix or the six by six would use all of these spaces, the four by four will only use the ones in the corner. And as it finds stuff that it considers uh, valid, first of all, it will draw a little picture of things. And then it will give you the results out here on the side. So what you do with this is run it until you have a suitable reverb impulse. Then select all. I copy that. Oh, it has just generated another. Uh, let's see. You select what it produces, and you hit copy, and then you have a line of text. And so what 
the plugin here is for Here's verb sixes doing a particular six by six matrix and a four by four matrix at the same time. And it sounds very nice. This is the same plugin and program that I've used to do hundreds of variations on reverbs that I'm busily measure. I've been updating the program that I just showed you into the matrix many times a day for days on end. A lot of effort is going into this right now. And if you run it and generate three by three matrices, for instance, I'm thinking I might use those for early reflections. It'll produce a little line of text having to do with the three by three matrix that it's generating. And it will then print out many fewer options and they'll still say delay A, delay B, etc., and give the numbers in those matrices. If you can get verb sixes, this plugin that you're looking at right now that doesn't have any controls on it, and compile it, that means you can go into the header file that says verb sixes.h. And there's a line of text that looks a lot like what you'd get out of Into the Matrix, because it is what you get out of Into the Matrix. And you can replace everything that's there, which is going to be a 4x4 and a 6x6 line of text, with the 3x3 that you generated, compile it, and that plugin is now a 3x3 matrix instead. That's all you have to do, because it will work out which kinds of algorithms to use in order to make that become the new, like, calibrated compare reverbs with other reverbs. And if you can do that, then you could also put in the, in, like, if you run 5x5 five five matrices, you can put that into the 5x5, five five, and I think that still says delay A, B, etc. And you can just use it as a drop-in replacement for every, anything that I've got that you can compile that is 5x5 five five matrices. I'm going to be coming out with a 6x6 six six matrix with all the controls and things as soon as I can. This is all moving really fast. And this is a fine time for the distraction, honestly. If this is something that you would enjoy doing, have at it. Here's the thing. If you layer multiple reverbs on top of each other, it just makes them longer and more sustainy. And that is why what you hear when we do Modern Tron like this, or indeed I could do it on just the uh, drum heads of uh, Discord Welcome Home. That's just a couple of backbeats. It is a six by six, which is basically cathedral size combined with the 3x3, three three, where all the delay lines were multiplied by 10 to make them just go from side to side and stretch out way longer than they otherwise would. So it's an artificial, it's like a variation on K-Cosmos, as it were. It's an artificial, unreasonably huge reverb. That's only a, f uh, pretty sure it was a 4x4, four four, as a matter of fact, and a 6x6. Six you could also do a 5x5 five five and a 3x3 three three on top of those at the same time. I've tried it. The amount of sustain and reverb that you get is so unreasonable that I did not want it to be what I included with uh, the downloadable version of Verb 6s. But again, this is only my version of Verb 6s just so that you can run sound through it and hear what it does. It's the first 6x6 reverb to come out. It's just also a 4x4 reverb at the same time. In the, the sequence of them, as you're running them, is first the 3x3 happens, then the 4x4, then the 5x5, then the 6x6, if you're using all of them at the same time. I'm probably going to have the 3x3 version um, for things where I'm using that for early reflections, like I'm doing with K-Cosmos. I'm probably going to have that not have any regeneration on the 3x3 three three section, but in the case of verb 6s, it does in fact have regeneration. It's trying to make it so that you can measure each of them, 
and be able to choose between the many different reverbs you can generate with Into the Matrix and be able to measure these things before even getting into critical listening. And yeah, this is a lot, but my hope is people get to play with it. And even if you're not able, to, like if you're not able to download the Godot engine and run into the matrix, which exists only as a, I haven't built any binaries for it. So you have to run Godot in order to use it. If you can run it within the most recent version of the Godot engine, then you can use it. Even if you can't build it as a standalone, you can still run it inside the engine and use it that way. I'd like to get people playing with that because I think that's a fun thing to start doing is working in Godot Engine. If you can compile this plugin, that's a whole other level that I probably can't help you with. I find this stuff kind of hard. I've got all of the variations compiling myself, but it's taken, you know, ages to get around to having that. Um, but if you can compile verb sixes as a VST or AU plugin locally, that means you can replace that line of text. That means you can do any variation on the reverbs. And in fact, you can generate replacements for the 5x5s because we've got a lot of variations on that out there. Like K Cosmos is a 5x5. You can swap out what's inside case cosmos for like a small closet room if you want or a small hall a club something like that and any variation of that that you wanted so i'm going to do my best to keep these things coming so that people have stuff to do and i am trying to make sure not i'm like i took a day last week to just derp around playing minecraft on one of my live streams, because I'm trying not to push so hard that I just fall over splat. But this is really moving. And right now, as of the last couple of weeks, you now have all the tools I'm using to make all of these. So if you're a plugin maker or just interested in doing that, um, again, I can't help you compile verb sixes, but I can give you the code as MIT licensed open source. And there's plenty of other code that I've done. So if you can get started with that, you can be off and running using whatever else you find in the library that is Air Windows. And even if you can't do any of those, I just gave you another super crazy deep reverb for like your ambient stuff or background chords or whatever it is you choose to do. And you can have that even if you can't do any of these other things. That's just a plugin. And verb six is, although it doesn't have any controls, it's full wet. You can put that on an aux and just use it as a reverb without substituting anything. It'll just be a super giant, titanic, humongous reverb. And what's not to like about that? I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.